Alright guys, what's going on today? I've got a video for you. Um, this goes out to the Mac players out there, if there are any left. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but in this video I'll show you how to mod um, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 for the Mac version of the game. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hide this actually. Or not Steam, hide GIMP. Alright, so the first part that you need to do is purchase the game of course um, I would prefer it from Steam because the Mac App Store version is horrible it there's so many restrictions involved with it but anyways so to start it off what you want to go to do is go to finder go to whatever your account is that you're on and then go to the library now I believe in like Mavericks or Lion or something the application support folder is hidden so you'll have to enable hidden folders I'm not sure how to do that since I don't have either one but anyways you're going to want to go into application support and scroll all the way down to Steam right here now once you're in Steam go to Steam Apps Common Star Wars KOTOR and then you'll see this app so you're going to go to show package contents Alright, now once you show package contents, all of this will pop up. So you go into contents and Kotor data. Now, once you're in there, what you're going to want to do is create a folder called override. Spell it exactly like this. Trust me, if you spell it any differently, it won't work. Alright, so now on to installing mods. Alright, so there are many different places that you can install mods, or I mean download mods, so you could go to Deadly Stream for example, I'll link that down in the description, or you could go to Filefront, I mean there's just all these different places, right? So the first um, installation that I want to show you is the um, simple override stuff, so I'll use my mod for an example, now I have uh, seven different files that's because in case you didn't want certain um, different armors or whatnot then you could just download only a couple of them so say I want to download um, the medium armors I mean it really doesn't matter I'll just show this real quick so we'll let that download and then once it's downloaded it'll pop up in a download screen it doesn't matter it's all well, wherever you download it from so as you can see the unarchiver, I'll link that down in the description too. Alright, so now once it's done, then you go to Finder, go to New Finder Window, it doesn't matter, the Downloads, and then look for the file name, which in this case it was mediumarmors.7zip. So then you go to the M's, Medium Armors right here, and all these files, all you have to do is click on the first one, all the way down to the bottom press shift and then you just drag them into your override now I'm not going to do that because I already have my mod installed so once that's done boom you go in game and the mods there um, no problems unless someone has already taken those file names for this mod then you're just kind of out of luck I guess you have to choose between which one you want anyway so the next um, mod are TSL patcher mods now a lot of people think that you can't do TSL patchers on the Mac, but I will show you how to do it. Um, let me just download this real quick, and I will be back once it's downloaded. Alright guys, so once you download the file, what you want to do is go to the TSL patcher install, um, then you click on the installer.exe. Now when you click open, um, crossover will open. Uh, eventually it sometimes takes a while to open as you can see here it opened up actually quicker than I thought anyways once you do that what you're going to want to do is click proceed or install either one will be there as you can see it changed there it doesn't matter alright and then this bar will go about halfway then it'll ask me where I want to install it and I will show you guys where to install it so once this window pops up, there's a whole readme. I'd recommend reading all of the readmes, of course. Um, those are always very, very important and informative. So once you do that, what you're going to want to do is click on this slash right here, the plus for the slash. Go all the way down to the users, whatever user you are. 
and then you go to library application support all the way down to steam steam apps common star wars kotor knights of the old republic content and then you're going to just click on coder data and then you click ok now i'm not going to do that because i already have this mod installed so once you do that all of this stuff will appear on here and there will be like a whole bunch of writing says that the mod installed and whatnot and then you could just go ahead and exit out and then click done once this is done now that's how to install mods for KOTOR 1 pretty simple um, now moving on to KOTOR 2 alright so to install TSL mods what you're going to want to do is of course purchase a legal copy of Knights of the Old Republic 2 now you can do this through PC Steam wrapper um, like this one that I have. I'll link you down to the porting team's uh, Steam wrapper for that. It's really good. Um, or this one actually is really, really good. Anyways, what you're going to want to do is go to Show Package Contents, Drive C, Program Files, Steam, <clears throat> Steam Apps, Common, Knights of the Old Republic 2 and then you're going to want to recreate an override um, folder again. So now I'll show you the basics again. There's the simple um, just override stuff, so I'll just go ahead and download clothing, why not? Uh, the unarchiver will open it up. Should be really quick. Um, then you go to your downloads, blah blah blah, clothing, uh, CL, there we go. And then it'll unarchive it, and then all you simply have to do is just throw the files into the override. Now, that's for that simple override stuff. For the next part in installing mods for Kotor 2, um, you're going to need crossover again for the TSL patchers. So, for this example, I'm going to use Curse of the Sith. Really great mod, by the way. So what you're going to want to do is open the tslpatcher.exe, of course. Crossover will open. You're going to click Proceed or Install, whichever one is there. And then once the installation starts, again, it'll go halfway, and then it'll ask me where to install the mod. And like I said before, the paths are going to be different for everyone, depending on where you installed um, the game to. I don't know, it just doesn't matter. There's a README here, of course read that. Um, then you're going to click on Install Mod. Now you're going to want to click the plus here again. Go, in my case, um, to your users, which would be down here, whatever user. And since I have Knights of the Old Republic 2 installed on the desktop, I'll go to Desktop. And then Knights of the Old Republic 2.app will show up. So you click the plus there, drive C, program files, Steam, and then Steam Apps, common. Then you're just going to click on Knights of the Old Republic 2. Then you click OK. Now I'm not going to do that again because I have this mod installed already. I already did a mod review on the mod too, in case you guys want to check that out before you install it. Um, so yeah, and then a ton of stuff will show up, and then this little bar will go across saying, um, showing its installation process, then you're good. Now, that um, this installation works for all kinds of TSL patcher mods, whether it's for TSL RCM, anything like that, um, M478, it doesn't matter. So once you guys do that, you're good. Now, if you'd like to know how to install um, Knights of the Old Republic 2 on the Mac, I can make a tutorial for that. Just leave a comment down in the video and I will be sure to make that video. I'll probably do it actually anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, somewhat quick tutorial um, how to mod um, KOTOR on the Mac. Um, thank you for watching.